The new government in Anambra State is about a month old, yet the legal fireworks trailing conduct of the governorship election bridge on. The Supreme Court has nullified the participation of Andy Uba as a candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the election. In a judgment, a five man panel of the court ruled that the APC breached its guidelines for conduct of primaries. Hence, it is failed to conduct a valid primary from which Uba emerged as the party's candidate. The Supreme Court also affirmed that the February 23 judgment of the Court of Appeal, which upheld the 20th of December 2021 judgment of Justice Inyang Equal of the Federal High Court in Abuja. Judy, I remember <coughs> these primaries. I remember most of the stakeholders George Mogalu, uh, Chris Ngege, within the All Progressive Congress in Anambra State, kicked against these primaries. And the primaries were supervised by Dr. Dakwa um, Biodun, the governor of Ogun State. Yes. And in return, the primary returned over um, 200,000 votes for Mr. Andy Uba. Mm. And it validated Andy Uba as the candidate. Right now, if Andy Uba has gone to court to challenge um, Governor Soludo. That means if the Supreme Court is saying that he's not even a candidate, that means <laughs> the um, his petition at what, the tribunal. What we should say is if yeah, Andy Oba had won the election, election, it would have been taken away from him. And when hmm. they take it away from him, the you, see, you, uh, you, you, you will then see some leaders of the APC calling a judge a harlot and all that. You fail to do the right thing. Hmm. When the Supreme Court or any court for that matter then reminds you of your own guidelines hmm. that you breached, hmm. that you brushed aside because hmm. you made up your mind from the beginning that this was the person who must win. Hmm. You will now be abusing judges. You will be calling a judge harlot. Hmm. The sort of things that should not come out of an adult. Hmm. You use such unprintable uh, words to describe a judge. The reverse judge. Who tried to adjudicate on Yes, on the matter in which clearly you had misbehaved. Mm. This is not the first time. And, and they will not learn, no. Mm. They won't learn. They won't stop. Internal oh. democracy within the party. They won't stop. They will still you will still see because some people are so hungry for power that if it is not their own person. That is their own way of showing that they are powerful within the party. If it is not their own person, nobody else must imagine. No matter how popular the person is. Mm. The president who was saying the other day that they should not frustrate power, uh, strong uh, aspirants out of the party. Mm. He knew what he was saying. Because he knows that it's not in all primaries that the person who deserves to win wins. Mm. All the tricks that are used to impose... People. We are getting to yeah, that we, are, we, are, we are seeing we, the, by the, May now. The, the courts are, are showing us mm. that look, these people have um, they have guidelines. They fail to comply with their guidelines. Mm. The electoral act stipulations they fail to comply with, and this is what you get. And Uba, as far as the courts are concerned, was not a the participant candidates. in the primary election. Because you cannot build something on nothing. Especially to start. So, it's even lucky. And this is a candidate that because of him, many people defected to the APC. Mm. Yeah, the APC couldn't organize a mm. primary election that can stand the test of time. Look at what has happened. He couldn't even win one local government in the election proper. And he, said he went to courts and uh, over 200,000... He claimed that he was going... That even when he lost the election, uh, he was the first to say that he would he go would to go courts. To court. When even your own primary election, well, they win, and it was all the courts from the lower court right to the supreme court, and the PDP yeah, candidates, a very very popular man, a very very congratulated Chief Soludo. But you, the, you are the second runner up in that election. The man, you are the uh, first person, the product of an invalid uh, primary uh, uh, election. election. I, I think the APC have to be reminded that it was because of all these issues that the PDP became so unpopular in 2015, when they could not have internal democracy. When personal ambition has overseen the, 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 the tenets of democracy and it has set aside the rules that the party put pen to paper itself. 
So the APC cannot continue to behave as if they are not part of Nigeria's history. They are not part of where we are today. So for this kind of judgment, I believe that politicians should stop and retake in their inordinate ambition to have their way all the time. And party apparatus too has to be respected. And party rules and regulations too have to be respected. This kind of judgment, like he said, if the man had been in default, if he had become the governor of the state, it would have been removed by now. Yes. And people would have been shouting. Mm. So let us still put our hope in the judiciary. And I want to believe that with the judgment of the Federal High Court last year, December, and this one coming up now, political parties should please give us a better country. Because I always believe that if there's no internal democracy, if parties cannot respect their own law, there's no way they can govern the country very well. Mm. So, this case at this tribunal, Automatically, yeah. and it, it was not a participant. He has no locus. He has no locus. <laughs> show up at any court to say it's challenging. So, Ludo, so first uh, Supreme Court has the primary, invalidated this. The primary election that produced him as candidate of the APC was deemed an illegal primary election. So it hmm. was a non-event. Uh, non hmm. In the eye of the law, the, law. <laughs> the primary election didn't take place. So, and because it didn't take place, it cannot produce a candidate. It cannot produce a winner. This is what we are saying. It's not the first time that this sort of thing will happen. But we also know that they, won't, they, they still won't stop. The Nigerian politician is so set in his ways and extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult to get him to change. And the way the parties are structured, there are individuals who imagine themselves to be gods of men. And because they imagine themselves to be gods of men, at all times, they believe that their will must prevail. It is what they want that must prevail. But a party it does not uh, thrive on just having individuals who are strong. Mm. The more people you have, the stronger your party. Mm. Because those are people who come out on election day and vote for you. Mm. But where you have a situation in which you don't even want the ordinary people to, 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 to be able to win an election, if it's only the person that you want, once there's a powerful person from an area, that powerful person may, makes up his mind that this is the person that he wants to back. And he will tell others that that is the person who will be the next governor. Even if they don't want it, he will either rig the process and make sure that this person becomes uh, the candidate. So I just hope that they will learn their lessons. In Bayesa, they refused to learn their lesson. They brought the wrong candidate, and when it happened, they started abusing the judges. This is another evidence. Everybody knew at that time that the Anambra reason that there was no primary. Mm. Even we too, we have said it here that we were sure that the, the tribe, that the courts would throw away the primaries. And that's what has happened. Mm. And you send governors, governors who go to somewhere and say they are Supervise. presiding, supervising, you are supervising rigging. Mm. You are supervising brushing aside mm. of the process. So what are you supervising? Anybody who as well supervise, you can bring a, a primary school boy to go and supervise. If the outcome will be the same kind of outcome that we are seeing, where the rules and guidelines of the party will be uh, thrown overboard. So what is the supervision that we are talking about? Mm. 